full on rotten eggs in your face. Come on, sense about this is, let's go. Extreme lows at sometimes, it gets really stressful. We're Aaron and Brandon. Since August, we have been driving west, attempting to visit every national park in the continental United States. In our last episode, we entered California, which I had been looking forward to since the beginning of our road trip. I truly haven't been this happy in a while. But before stopping at our next national park, a quick workcation. past two days we have been in Redding, California at an Airbnb. Brandon had to host a training so we wanted to make sure that we had reliable good Wi-Fi and a place for him to work for the whole day and now we're enjoying the pool. It's October and it's about 85, 90 degrees. Yeah, we're working a lot but we're vacationing. <laughs> we are now back in the van. We are about to head to Lassen Volcanic national park we checked out of our airbnb this morning and then we came to a mcdonald's parking lot because we needed to get some work done we also had an incident where aaron's computer finally pretty much crapped out so we went ahead and bought a new computer so that's what i've been dealing with truly that's how i have to edit i feel like i'm like going like this as i'm editing because it's glitching so much I'm just going to take a second to interrupt this video to explain our Patreon account. This is an account where you get early access to our videos, you get exclusive content starting at $3 a month. If you'd like to support us and you'd like to see us make better videos in the future, please support us on Patreon. But if you cannot right now, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll continue this episode. Lassen Volcanic National Park was established in 1916, a year after the eruption of Lassen Peak in 1915, which prior to Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980 was the last explosion in the Cascade Range. The Lassen area still remains volcanically active today, and all four types of volcanoes found in the entire world are represented here. We have made it to our trailhead, Bumpus Hell. Believe it or not, that's in, the name of this. <laughs> we're in Bumpus Hell now. Sons of Bumpuses. Woo! <laughs> I feel like we've both just been so stressed today with everything going on, the computer, and just all the work that we have to do, and not having service, and not having Wi-Fi. Blah, blah, blah. Get on a trail, you don't have to think about anything. You just walk. Van life has its amazing perks. It can be absolutely incredible. Your highs can be so high, but when you elevate your highs, you also lower your lows. So you really have extreme lows at sometimes. It gets really stressful. You just kind of long for, for normalcy after a while and you know a stable internet connection computers that just work <laughs> just things like that so today was one of those low days but thankfully we are out in this beautiful country we've got this really nice hike to uh get us centered again just wanted to be real because it definitely seems like when you watch these videos that everything's rosy but it's definitely not thousand years ago the volcano would have been. When it erupted it collapsed into itself making a caldera. A caldera is kind of like a crater but it doesn't make a lake like Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. If you missed that episode you could go back to and watch that. 
10,000 years ago, this volcano erupted, and now it's just completely, you would have never known that it was here. We haven't seen any hot springs yet, but we're already getting whiffs of the sulfur. But once you've been to a couple hot springs, it's hard to miss that overwhelming smell of the sulfur. So we know we're getting close. This is our guide, Mr. Bumpus here. He was the first person to ever come across this hydrothermal area. When he descended down, it was as if he was descending into hell. He stepped in a mud pool that was 240 degrees Fahrenheit and he lost his leg because of it. So we're not gonna be like Mr. Bumpus, we're gonna stay on the boardwalks. Which of course, back then, they didn't have boardwalks. Come on, sons of Bumpuses, let's go. Somebody step there because there's a shoe print. Bad people, they don't listen to Bumpus's rules. Oh, I don't think I've ever smelled this much sulfur in the air. Like it is full on rotten eggs in your face. Oof. I'm wearing my mask for a reason. It shields me slightly from the egg smell. Uh, shields me from COVID, shields me from sulfur. Here we go. Thank you, mask. We've seen hot springs before. We've been in environments like this. We've been to Yellowstone, which was pretty incredible. But for some reason, this just seems so much better to us. And I think it's one, because it just doesn't feel like a tourist attraction. Like at Yellowstone, you feel like you're at Disney World or something. Here, it just feels very raw and real. And it's, it's honestly really beautiful. And now we're looping back. We have to head right back where we came from. And this is Bumpus Hill. My apologies, it was 240 degrees Celsius, 464 degrees Fahrenheit. I was kind of thinking, I was like, wow, he lost a lot of what? It was 240 degrees Fahrenheit. I remember seeing it on the no, sign. No, look at that, 240 degrees Celsius. Oh, well, we gotta go back the same way, right? We'll see on the way up. Wanna place your bets? I'm thinking 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Just, just turn around now, just. <laughs> 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. How do you feel about them apples? <laughs> I was wrong. But the sign said down there that the temperatures could get as hot as 240 degrees. So that's why I was like, oh yeah, that would make sense. I think we messed it up before. Did we mess it up? All right, I'll owe you a beer. <laughs> We have never gotten our batteries up to 100%, but we've been doing really well since we've been in California because there's not been a lot of good sun and we have the alternator working, so it's been charging that as well. So we have a bet. Is the price is right, Rose, or just closest? Just closest. Who's gonna be right? Uh, oh! Nice. That evens us out then, eh? I don't the know. The Bumpus and the Celsius and the this is This was a guess. Yeah, this, is, this was a guess, but it was an educated guess. We both owe each other beers. How about that? I like that. Cheers. fried rice. I've made it a couple times now and I think I'm getting better as I go because I'm learning things. You gotta use a lot of butter. Second thing is you need to use rice that is already cold. So I cooked this the other day, put it in the fridge. First I just saute up some veggies, 
let that sit for a while and then I add the rice in, add the egg, add soy sauce and add sesame oil. My problem is you gotta be patient because I kind of was like, oh, I'm hungry. I wanna, I wanna eat now. So what we learned is while I'm cooking fried rice, we have appetizer, some guac. We woke up this morning in our very short pine forest. A spot we found an eye overlander. Obviously there was some sort of fire, I guess a couple of years ago because all the pine trees are very short. It's really cute. We are doing some work right now and gonna head back into Lassen. We're trying to figure out what exactly we're gonna do because there's a lot and we've heard really great things about it, but we do have to leave here by one today. And we still have a couple more hours of work to do. So will it be another hike? Will it be a lake? Will it be an overview? We will find out. I'm cold. <laughs> we don't have heat like in the back of the van. So when we wake up, we're under the covers, we're comfortable, but then we want to get up and do things. It's very cold. It's not getting much warmer because we're at high elevation. So we're going to move, do some stuff in the park and then get out of the park. Because once we get down to a lower elevation, Hopefully it'll be warm again. In Reading it was 90 degrees. I'd like some more warm weather. We're in Cali, baby. <laughs> Bye. We are at Manzanita Lake, which is on the northwest side of Lassen National Park. I just made us some impossible burgers for lunch with some mayo, tomato, avocado, and we're gonna enjoy this view. come back here and put away these dishes. I'll clean the rest of them and then we can head onwards and upwards towards our harvest house for tonight, which is a California winery. It's got good reviews. We'll get some wine. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm going to keep doing it. California, baby. Yeah, and we'll stay there for free with harvest house. Alright, tag, you're it. Well, we know we didn't do everything in Lassen. I know there were a couple of hikes that I wanted to do, like Cinder Cone, Lassen Peak. With working and trying to put out episodes, trying to put out good content, it is a little bit tricky sometimes when there's not enough time in the day and not enough days in the week. Gotta keep moving. We're going to our harvest house. That should be fun. I'm looking forward to wine. I'm looking forward to our next couple of weeks too. So stay tuned and subscribe if you're new. That's eight percent. That's good stuff. The smell is so bad. Oh my god, though. If there's anybody out here who likes the smell of rotten eggs, you gotta come to this park. You're gonna love it. I just want to. <laughs> you can't laugh. I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and we didn't even say that. In addition to my computer crapping out, the fruit hammock broke. <laughs> <laughs> Like to whistle so loud. I love whistling. It's always annoyed people, but I think I'm really good at it, so I'm gonna keep doing it. 